Hello and welcome to Bar 20 Arms. Today we're going to be working with the same pipe we shot in our uh, previous video. We we're trying to do penetration tests. Um, trying to actually pass through both sides of this 6 inch pipe. Um, so we come up with another idea of doing some pressure testing. We want to see what kind of pressures are involved in the impact of, of that pipe. So we've uh, basically we've capped both ends of the pipe and we've welded it up so it's solid. There's no, you know, it's airtight. Per se. And um, we've attached this, uh, this gauge that will read up to 4,000 PSI. And we don't know if that will be enough or it will be too much, we're not sure. But we wanna, we're going to shoot the 33806 into this pipe and hopefully capture uh, some pressure readings to determine what kind of pressures are uh, involved during the impact of the bullet. So let's get up there and shoot it. All right, we've shot our pipe. We have a uh, entrance, no exit, but we do have a reading. We uh, we have 500 psi of, of uh, pressure that built up on that pipe uh, on impact of that of that bullet. We can also hear the bullet in the bottom of the pipe, so we shook it around a little bit, and you can hear the bullet. So we'll retrieve that, and I'll show you. And that was the 33806 250 grain Sierra Match, um, the Match King. It's a hollow point uh, full metal jacket. Um, so uh, now we're going to do it again. We're going to go up, weld that hole up, and do another test with 30 out 6. And uh, with a little, little faster, a um, little lighter bullet just to see if we can increase pressure or decrease this pressure. Just to get an idea of uh, the difference between the two. All right, here we are again. We have our uh, second test set up, but uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about our first test. Um, we didn't get an accurate uh, pressure reading. After a closer examination, we found that the uh, gauge was actually destroyed during the test. Uh, we took it apart, and it's stuck on 500 psi. But we determined that the, um, as you can see, the uh, gauge is broke uh, on the inside. It bent part of the workings. So um, it's undetermined what the pressures were at the time of impact because we can't we we can't say we don't know. So uh, we're gonna put this test on hold until we can come up with a uh, better gauge or or one that'll hold up to the shock of the impact. Um, but for now, we uh, we're gonna do a wet test. Now we've welded up the uh, the hole from the dry test. And uh, we have filled the cylinder with water. It's still the same one, so it's capped on both sides. It's airtight, watertight. And we put a wet gauge on it. And this wet gauge is good to up to 6,000 PSI. So uh, hopefully we'll get better results with it. Hopefully it'll be interesting. Um, let's get up there and shoot. All right, our wet test, 33806. Uh, we have our results. Unfortunately, they're not uh, what we were hoping for. Uh, we can continue to break gauges. Uh, we, can't, we can't capture the PSI. Let's look at it here. We got, we got our entrance, which has been pretty much uh, consistent, whether it be wet or dry. And then we have uh, the real interesting part to us is the fact that it bowed the top plate. It, it put a, uh, the pressure came up and towards the top and it bowed, put a big uh, bulge in the top of the plate and uh, it didn't crack it out. It, it didn't crack anywhere in the pipe that I can tell. Um, and there's no, there's no uh, deformities within the pipe. Um, once again, we can't. We, we don't know PSI because it broke the gauge. We're going to take it apart and take a look in there and see what we can find out. But uh, but it's still holding the wet. Uh, it's it's still wet, so it don't uh, it didn't leak any of the fluid. And uh, as best we can tell, nothing came out of the case of the gauge. So 
whatever happened destroyed the internal workings of the gauge and, and that's what we'll have to look at. We're also going to try to cut off the top and find our bullet and, uh, and see, uh, see if there's any differences between the dry and the wet, uh, the bullet impacting. Um, we had this uh, pipe sitting on this concrete block. This is a center block and I, because of the shock, I, I guess it just it disintegrated this block. Um, and it was just sitting on top of it, so there was a lot of energy coming from within the, the, the pipe because it was underneath it, so a lot of the energy went down and up away from the impact, and uh, it just disintegrated this block. So that's real interesting to us, and we're going to try to find out a way to, uh, to capture some re actual readings, because that's what we want to know, what kind of readings we're getting PSI within this container. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to take apart this gauge, find our bullets, we'll show you that, and we'll try to uh, come up with a better way to test this in the future. So thanks for visiting Bar 20 Arms, and uh, come back soon. We'll see you next time.